You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mist Kinsman and Mike Bennion Rowe. And he said two can play at that game, so I told him I'll call the RSPB. <laughs> oh, hello. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. I'm Miss Kinsman, and today I'm joined by the effervescent Mike Bennion Rowe. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm not too bad. Full of cheese. Yeah, so before before we started recording, I had some lovely Marmite cheese in the fridge. I nip out, come back, empty packets here. Oh, I didn't know they were both for you. There were no labels. No, no labels. No, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. Just, oh, I didn't know. Nom, nom, nom. It was delicious, though. <laughs> it really was. It is Marmite delicious. Marmite cheese is really nice. Yeah. Selfish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Now we, get, now we get an apology. Oh, dear. Anyway, what have you got for us today, Mike? Today, I have a story about things people search for on websites, on trains. And then we see what's cooking in the kitchen with Everybody Loves Fanny. Are we sure? Anyway, we have a game that you can also play along with, too. But on your screen now, you can see our contact details. It's at the Cud TV on our social media. And if you want to catch up with any previous episodes, you can always binge us on YouTube. Just look for Chewing the Cud. And as you can see, names of people have reached out on social media going on the bottom of the screen. But now, unfortunately, we have Mist in the showbiz. <laughs> So, we have some lovely romantic news. Okay. Uh, do you know of the musical star Ben Platt? No, who's he? Uh, he's a star of musicals. Like Did, what? Um, I can't remember off the top of my head Such what the big star. one's. <laughs> it's been in loads of musicals. I'm trying to think of what the big one is. Uh, Dear Evan Hansen. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Who did he play in that? Evan Hans. Well, if I remember the plot of the story, not really. It's been a long time since I've okay. watched it. Anyway, they're very, very good at musicals. Okay. Um, they've married Noah Galvin. Um, I don't actually know, to nice. be fair, because um, I don't really know very much about celebrities, so why I do this segment, I don't know. So um, someone that you, you've you seen in one thing, but can't remember which part he plays, has married somebody <laughs> that you have no idea who it is. Yeah. A again, again, some of my friends who are much more au fait with musicals will shoot me now. Thanks for exposing me. Um, but anyway... You exposed yourself. <laughs> and like, like in real life, exposing yourself is a crime. Look, it's two lovely, rather well-known gay people getting married and, and they've had a lovely wedding. Nice. And that's the story here, not, okay. not my incompetence. Um, anyway, both. <laughs> there they are. They look very happy. They do look like a happy couple, don't they? Yeah, in a chippy. So they've been uh, together for about four They're years. In a chippy. There's a deep fat fryer in the background there. I'm not too sure that's the salient point about the story. It's something I recognise at least. But <laughs> these two, I don't have a clue who they are. And you can't describe them to me other than say one of them is in a musical, you think? You know, one of these days, I will actually get through the showbiz notes without actual criticism or being picked apart. So I doubt it. <laughs> anyway, the story is, they've been dating for about four years, they got engaged in 2022, okay. and they've had a ceremony, and, and to be honest, it's quite sickening. Um, they've taken a, taken a ceremony and wanted it to be like a big group hug. Okay. Which is very, very nice. Yep. Um, they were also surprised by a musical number by their mother's. Nice. Uh, doing a traditional Jewish song. Um, and yeah, that was a lovely element of it. Um, Platz has said, we were overwhelmed with love, sweaty and sobbing most of the time. Yeah, I'm not too sure that's what you ought to be doing as the part of the wedding ceremony in front of your parents. Um, the pair didn't want to um, match in their suits because... Okay. When you have a, a, a two males in, in suits at a, a wedding getting married together, they can kind of look like cater waiters sometimes. Well, that, that's what the, these guys were worried about. They got the stylist Jared Elner. Oh, no, Jared Elner. Oh, OK. Somebody he does recognise. No, I don't. No. Uh, OK. Anyway, they uh, designed their looks for the day, dressing Galvin in a 1950s-inspired French workwear look and Platt in a 70s-style cream suit. OK. Their special day, as long as they're happy, that's all that matters. Well, I'm having problems visualising. <laughs> <laughs> they say they were overwhelmed with love mm -hmm. and that they were happy just to keep hanging out forever. Oh, that's cute until the divorce. <laughs> um, well, let's move on then. This is also uh, quite a short story, really, but one I know that you'll be quite sad about. Okay. Pingu's dead. 
Oh, it might be worse. Nothing's worse than Pingo Day. Pingo Day. It's bastard scene. Did you see the Pingo Thing movie? No. It's absolutely brilliant. Go and have a look on YouTube. It's basically The Thing, which is a really classic horror movie, done with Pingu. Okay. It's amazing. Anyway, um, so remember on the show we have talked before, got rather excited about a show by Neil Gaiman called Dead Boy Detectives. Mm-hmm. And, and we very much enjoyed it. You, you watched it before I did and got very excited about The Cat King. Cat King is hot. Mm-hmm. And I, I really enjoyed the show. There was, there was lots about it to enjoy. Um, but unfortunately, it has been cancelled. There is going to be no season two. I can believe it, because apart from the pretty boys in it, the plot was a bit thin. Well, I quite liked it. I, I, I very much enjoyed it, and I thought there was much scope there for doing more with it. There was a lot of scope for doing more with it, and I think if they did half the episodes, it would have been much better. Well, it was only about eight episodes long anyway. Yeah, the it? story was that thin. Yeah. It was very much a case of going, look, these are two dead guys that are slightly gay, enjoying themselves, bit of seduction, bit of salation. There was, was a bit of a will-they-won't-they they yeah, kind it just, of... It drags on. It's like, I mean, there was bits missing and the storyline was a bit thin. Right, So I can see why it was cancelled. I'm upset by that. I thought it had room to go. I've certainly seen things that are thinner carry on for longer. Yeah, I know, but we don't talk about those people. Uh, Next story. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the musical artist Sade? Sade. Sade. Well, yes, if you want to pronounce it correctly. I do. Sade. (laughs) I am aware of Sade's work. Yes. So she was pretty big late 80s, early 90s, shall we say? Renowned for being quite a smooth operator. Mm-hmm. That is one of the big hits. Well done. I had researched that one. Um, Your Love is King being a good one and No Ordinary Love being another one. Um, they were the ones I could remember playing on an album a long, long time ago in my early teenage years, moping over some boy. Um, anyway, what? When did those songs come out? In the early 90s. Early 90s? Yes. Teenage years? That makes you over 40. Uh, you can Moving listen on. to music that's before you were born. If you were a teenager in the early 90s. I didn't say that I was listening to them in the early 90s. They were made teenager. in the early 90s. I could have listened to them in the early parts of this century when I was a teenager, moping over boys. Mm-hmm. I will make this slide work. Um, anyway, there she is. Um, so, British singer-songwriter, she... Like a lot, big impact when first came out, a little bit quieter recently, um, though technically he has kind of released things over peri- over the time period until like maybe about five years ago and they haven't really done anything since. So they've been coaxed out of uh, retirement, well, not retirement, but they've been quiet for about five years and they've been coaxed out to do a new song for this compilation album that mm-hmm. is all to support their trend son. Okay, cool. And it's... For this whole album, it's got lots of trans artists. It's uh, the track itself is titled "Young Lion," mm-hmm. and it's basically to contribute to this album called "Transa," and it's about uplifting trans and non-binary artists. Scheduled for release about twenty second of November. So okay, if you're long. waiting for that, come out. And it's the brainchild of Dust Reed and artist Masima Bell, who began compiling the album around about twenty twenty one. Okay, cool. Yep. I'm excited and, for that. Yeah. There's other artists on there as well. Um, Sam Smith, Andre 3000, I haven't heard of them in ages, and Jeff Tweedy. Oh, cool. Well, that sounds like a good album. I think yeah. I might have to download, download that on my Apple iMusic thing. Ooh, and other services are available. Um, yeah, and that's the end of the showbiz this week. Yes, thank you. It's always nice to know that we've gone from someone I've never heard of and you can't think of to someone that we both recognise. <laughs> Well, you know, this whole segment's about celebrities. <laughs> anyway, you're welcome. Stick around as next is Mike in the Buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mr. Mike. And now we go into the deeper parts of the internet as it's Mike in the Buzz. Are you allowed to make your own choices? Well, that's a quite deep philosophical question there, but I believe so. Okay. It's not deep philosophical, this is chewing the cud. 
um, anyway, um, this is a story about a lady called Laurie Favre. Oh. I don't know whether I pronounced that right. I probably haven't. It's a French name. Um, but she has given up all control over her life to people on the internet. Oh, no. By use of Telegram. Telegram? Yeah. So, she's on OnlyFans, mm-hmm. right? And she puts polls out on, on Telegram to say... If she's got in- access to the internet, why does she need to use a Telegram? The application Telegram. Oh. 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 Sorry, Boomer. Um, <laughs> modern technology. Modern technology. Oh, she was going to... Did it, did it, did it, did it. Telegram service was famously turned off in 2001. Um, 2011, sorry. Um, so, yeah, she uses the app Telegram mm-hmm. to poll her subscribers, right? And even ask them what they want her to do. So, some of the decisions she has made do I have this for lunch? Right? Mm-hmm. Or that for lunch? Right? Simple, easy little, okay. little decisions. Should so I risk my def- life savings at a casino? Should I dump my partner? She goes for those level of questions. Yes. So everything, so all of her life decisions are run by Telegram. So she's got a level of control in that she's setting the questions. They can also set questions. Oh. They can set polls, okay? She has done so well out of doing this since 2022, right? She is now one of the top selling people on OnlyFans. Right? She is in the top half a percent of people on OnlyFans making money because she has relinquished all control over her life. How um, how how happy is she? Very happy because she's minted. Um, <laughs> so she said that you know she won't do anything that puts her in danger. Okay. She won't do anything hateful or anything that causes harm. Okay. Right? So there are criteria. There are then. criteria, okay, but it's good. very much that's pretty much it. Okay. Everyone makes decisions for her. They put up questions: should she do this or the other? Yeah. So. And how many are we talking? Because there's so many choices you make in a day. Any choices. So as soon as she comes across a choice, it's posted, questioned. Pretty much. If it's not an immediate requirement for a choice, so do I cross the road now or not, she makes that decision. Okay. Right? Um, so, yeah, but things like deciding to break up with a partner. that That's a bit cruel on the partner, isn't it? Why? If the question was posed, should I break up with my partner, yes or no, and then everyone said yes... Well, I don't, I don't know. I've not really had a relationship, but yeah, I, I, can, ima- I can imagine... Okay, I'll give you a hint. If you're thinking about ending the relationship, it's probably ending. Mm, fair yeah. enough. Um, so yeah, she's given up all responsibility pretty much of all of her big life decisions. She's quit a job because of the poll. Right, well, an internship. Um, but she's happy because she's making a lot of money and she said that she's making a lot of friends and sharing a lot of experiences with people. Because mm-hmm. okay? she doesn't feel disconnected from these people. She, they're living her experiences because they're having an input into the, her life and then watching the outcome. It's like a conscious tu- Truman show. It's like it's more akin to Big Brother. Yeah, you've got people that are making decisions about what's mm-hmm. going on in your life and then watching and, and paying for it. But yeah, she said that it's not going to go on forever, but for now she's happy doing it. Well, all, all, all power to us. Well, she's happy and she's got those criteria about not being hateful and hurting anyone or doing anything that's going to be self harming, then fill your boots. Indeed, yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll move on a little bit now mm-hmm. to one of your favourite train activities, and that's Pornhub. I do not watch porn on the train. Try that again. I do not watch porn on the train. I do occasionally open an application on my tablet and find that porn is suddenly playing and switch off very, very quickly. Do you see the porn? No. Well, enough to recognise that it is what it is and then turn it off. Therefore, you have watched porn on the train. I was not watching porn on the train. I didn't say you were watching a lot of porn. I didn't say you were wanking to porn. I said you watched porn. You will have seen it move. You've watched porn on a train. You dirty, dirty old man. Anyway, um, Pornhub have released their 2024 statistics of what people search for. Oh, well, is this going to impress me more than the grinder statistics impressed Lee? Well, yes, because you're featured in this one. Um, <laughs> what? So in Alabama, most people said the well, top hit was for Cute Twink. Oh, OK, I see why I'm related. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alaska was nipple sucking. OK. Arizona was riding dildos. 
Florida was feet worship. Florida man caught feet worshiping on feet yeah. worshiping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Hawaii was real crushing. What's real crushing? So someone stepping on the bollocks and not pretending. Oh, 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 no. No, 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 no. Indiana was underwater sex. Okay. Okay. Um, Maine was um, <laughs> hairy mature, so that's why I thought of you. Um, and Oregon was hard pigs. So still with the mist theme there. I know that's upsetting almost as much as Tennessee when they were searching for grandpa jerking. <laughs> oh, you sly. <laughs> you no, 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 no. Hard pigs was Oregon, not me. <laughs> I really do dirty not old man why. Laugh. why do the I? The dirty old man laugh. <laughs> Can we get a tissue, please? Well, a duster. <laughs> I really do not know why I come here for this abuse. Because it's cheaper than where you normally pay for it. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> New York was like muscle bottom. People were looking for. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, Idaho was bromance. Oh, As in bromance turns to porn, not bromance as in going, hey, bud. Well, you know, what leads you in from the fantasy can be pure and romantic. Yeah, they fist bump, but not using each other's fists. <laughs> fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's cute and very interesting. Especially, especially the nipple sunking in Alaska, was it? I think it was Alaska. Mm. Yeah. Um, but if, like, Miss, you've suddenly gone, oh, I need to jump onto Pornhub, um, you can always share that with us at the Could TV on social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, this one is definitely for you. Okay. Okay. How's your diet? Improving. Oh, good. Are you yes. getting enough fibre? I, I, yeah, I am, yes. Oh, good. And mm. you're drinking plenty of water. I am, about three litres a day. Well, not today, you've not. No, um, not today. The reason why I ask is because a new research has come out about the number of times you should be wiping after you've pooped. Mm. What's your number? Um, depending on for how my diet's been very varied. Low end, top end? A couple what ends? Like four? Yeah. Okay. Far too many. Toilet roll. A, a, th a third of a toilet roll. Two flushes job before... Yeah, okay, right. That's when I... That that that, that end of the range was when I was like, I, I need to address this. Mm. Yes, you definitely do, because <coughs> you should be wiping no more than three times, according to research. Um, because what that does, if you do wipe more than three times, you get impacted by something called faecal smearing. Ooh. Um, and that's basically where you leave poop around your bum hole. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because paper is dry and it's taking all the moisture away and you just end up... Well, this is the argument for the bee day, really, isn't it? Bidet. Bee day. Bidet. Okay. Anyway, you should be doing pelvic floor exercises. Oh, I do do those. Do you? Yeah. What, what method do you use for your pelvic floor exercises? Well, the old Kegels and the, the rocking back and forth. Well, mainly just to loosen up my hips. Okay. Do you use the waterfall method? The waterfall method? Yeah. Oh, um, as in taking some in and then holding it and then... That's douching. Yes. No. So, pelvic floor exercise, where you start at the top of your insides and flex your muscles and then move the way down. Mm, I don't but think I've that had control. that control there for a long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 well, well, the, the, that still works. Barely. F further up might might have suffered more more very joyful damage um, in earlier years than I care to mention. You contract and release your muscles within. Mm -hmm. Okay, before you wipe to make sure that you're empty. Because what a lot of the time people are doing is they're leaving stuff in there when they're wiping. Mm. So they're basically just fishing bits out. Mm. Go for a little dig. It's just wiping and rubbing at that point. So it's like... You well, know when you get a play remember, you remember I'm play gappy. Yeah, I know. Um, something happens. No Play-Doh machines. <laughs> yes. When you used to like push down and a little star used to come out. Right? <laughs> Why are we spending so much time I talking You could this? rub it off, but it'd leave a smear of, of Play-Doh behind. Yes. That's pretty much what's happening when you poop. You just need to make sure that you're, you're fully evacuating. Because douching can be very bad for you. I do douche. Do you do it regularly or do you just do it when you Semi regularly. You've got to be careful because you'll disrupt your biome and you'll end up with IBS. 
You'll, you'll call Can I not just stick some yogurt up there? That's what I want to do anyway. <laughs> baby yogurt. Mm. Have you never heard the phrase baby yogurt? <laughs> not from someone that's not in prison, no! <laughs> Um, but yeah, so you have to be careful with your gut health, that's all. Right? Mm -hmm. And so making sure that you've got a good diet, plenty of fibre and doing the right way of exercising your innards will make sure you have a healthier lifestyle. That's all from the buzz this week. Well, that's a lot of new information for me that's going to make me revisit some life choices. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> you are welcome. Stick around because coming up next, we have a game to play in our game of the week. Welcome back, and yes, you're watching Chewing the Cud, and we're going to play a little game, and this is for a man who really needs to get something in his gob. So, off you pop, Mike. Yeah, but you know, micro penises don't count. But that's like... Game of the Week. So, now Mike has got himself ready and prepared for the Gobby Game Show, where he'll try and deliver some musical genius for me to guess what song that is. Are you ready? I'm ready. Give us a tune. Uh, would that be Axel F? Bye. Isn't it by Axel F? No. I thought it was the Beverly Hills theme tune. Axel F. Bye. Hello. Paul Ha Maya. Um, I, I understood that less than the Harold. song. Harold. 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 Harold? Uh huh. Harold? Harold. Flat, huh? Faulkner. Flat. Flat. Uh. Flapper. Flapper. Oh, flat. Uh. Flatter. Mm hmm. Maya. Flatter Maya. I will fucking lie. Give us another one, Mike. Okay. Um. That would be the Jurassic Park theme tune. Oh. Uh, John Williams, isn't it? Ah, well, no. There's a dinosaur. There's a dinosaur. Oh, I don't know the name of the song, but it's from Kill Bill. I, I don't know the name of the song and I don't know who it's by, but I do know it's in Kill Bill. Rusty. Rusty. Will. Mayo. Will. Rusty Mayo. Will. Rusty Will. They're fun, lover. La 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 Around the world, Daft Punk. Yeah, well, yeah. It's only one lyric to get. Alright. Is, it, is, is that like a mermaid having a wank? No, pull that a little bit on the room. It sounded very pretty, but uh, I, no, I could not identify it. Hopefully you're doing better at home, uh, but no, not, not, not got a clue, I'm afraid. Teardrop. Teardrop? What, a massive attack? 
There, there, there are some people who used to live with me that um, know not to come into my room when Massive Attack or Portis Head were playing because that was my go-to sex playlist. So what? I should have recognised that. that. <laughs> Massive Attack teardrop. Yeah, that kind of music was like very sexy time for me. Coming up to my angel. Oh, oh. Mm -mm. What? I had very sexy times in my uh, uni years. On your own? Because everyone else goes, what's fucking putting Massive Attack on for? Massive Attack or Porter's Head, if that's blaring loud to cover up any moany, groany noises. Problem was, my room was next to the kitchen, so they always had to walk past it when it was I'm, going I'm sorry, on. no, we just, have to, we just have to get the lyrics up of this song. Teardrop. Teardrop on the fire, fearless on my breath, mm -hmm. night's night of matter, dark flowers blossom, mm. fearless on my breath, black flowers blot. It's this? really sexy. And it was a video of a baby being born. Well, we weren't watching the video, we were just listening to the sound. Mental images. Anyway. Well, let, for all the sexy times I had, there were, there were not many repeat customers, so that might be why. <laughs> One or two reasons. Well, one just. <laughs> okay, next one. Oh, out now, funk soul brother. Heck out that. now, funk soul brother. That 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 would be Fat Boy Slim. And funk soul brother. That what it's called. If it has another name, I don't know. Uh -huh. Um Rockefeller Skank? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. I do know. If it's a lot of it, then it's a lot of that would be um, oh god if I can remember their ruddy name I know that song um, we get knocked down but we get up again you're never going to keep me down. Um, I can't remember the name of the band. Don't remember the song either. No. No. I know it. I know it. I've, 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 I've danced along to it many, many a time. <coughs> but the the actual name and the name of the band has gone out of my head. So there are people at home screaming at me now. Oh, I'm familiar if I heard it. Chumumba Wumba, Chumumba That's it, Chumumba Wumba. I'm Chumumba Wumba. Chumumba Wumba. Okay, that's why. I do apologise. Oh, oh, I love you. I have the fair in me. Oh, oh, I love you. Oh, let me repair myself by then. Oh, oh, I love you. <laughs> you do quite well then. I, I, I was looking, looking and enjoying the performance. You could have kept going. I thought I'd like to stop. What is all? It's Annie Lennox, No More I Love Yous. That was another one of our sex songs. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm so awesome. Right. That's one. You want it, do it, buy it, laugh on me, laugh on me, we, we, we are going for sexy time songs from a certain era, aren't we? No. Pony, genuine. Yeah, well, that's one sexy song. A lot of refreshing songs. <laughs> I don't wish I get that down right away. I let not down. What? Oh, I'm sure I've had a blowjob in the back of an indie bar to Chumba Wumba. 
It's a shame that no one else was involved, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Those Henry wet and dry hooves have got a lot to answer for. Right. Um, that's one. As a little wide and long, I wrote little thoughts. Have a dance with my rich arm. I wrote little thoughts in the sun. It's a little bit worrying when you push the ball out like that. <laughs> oh, oh, it's not a nice look, is it? It's not. Now you know how all your lovers feel. Oh, it's not a nice look. What? What is that? Oh, no. <laughs> right. Oh. Uh. I've got a lovely arsehole. It's just covered in shit, apparently. Um... <laughs> I thought it was your face. <laughs> That's from meeting the other people who don't wipe the bottles properly. Um, long and winding road. Why? Uh, uh, I, I, I'm presuming from the, the beautiful way you did it. Uh, is there a Will Young version? Oh, Cole. Huh? That's Will Cole. Nat King Cole? Oh, Phil Cole. Phil Collins? Cheryl Crow. Cheryl Crow. Ah. By the way, before you on record. The fly man now feels like he's flying, flying to remember that it all depends. The fly man now feels like he's flying, flying to remember that it all depends. Who stuck a carrot up your ass? He's getting overexcited. I, I have no idea. You put your heart and soul in that performance. I, I, I felt the energy, uh, but no, I don't have a bloody clue what it's called. Madonna. Madonna. Ray of light. Ray of light. That was Ray of light. Oh. Right, I think we better get on with something else now then. Stick around as next we get our feed on with Everybody Loves Fanny. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we go to see what's occurring in the kitchen as Everybody Loves Fanny. Everybody Loves Fanny. No, I'm not, I'm not having it. Because they've said that me, oh miss, it says my partner's name's Jeffro. Who the f's Jeffro? My fella's name's Mark. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm Fanny. Everybody loves me. How are you, missed? Um, I, I'm fine, and, and what a pleasure to meet you. You too. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, I've heard a few things about you too. <laughs> um, what have you got for us this week? Who's been talking about me behind my back? I'm not having it. Um, so, so this week we've got some lovely food for you. Okay, um, we've got something from the Natural Cookery Book. So not one of your own recipes? No. So we have something from the Natural Harvest Cookery Book by Paul Foute. Paul Foute? Foute, yes. I, I like to give it to a French accent. I don't know why that's all right, all right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a lovely filled pancake or crepe. Ah, yes. I do love a nice crepe. Yes, I, I've heard you talk a lot of them. Mm. Um, so what I'd like you to do is, first of all, is I've given you, I've, I've pre-prepared some lovely crepes. Oh, lovely. Okay, we don't need those quite yet. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is take your bowl and pop mm -hmm. your crepes to one side. Okay. One side. Okay. Um, oh, first thing we need to do oh, is... Oh, they smell good. Thank you, thank you. I've made lots of effort and I'll give you the recipe for those a little bit later. Okay. okay. Um, and we're going to f put our, our startings of fillings into it, okay? So I've given you some lovely fresh organic mascarpone. Oh! Yes, um, which is the, the soft cream cheese, just with your spatula. Um, with, with my what? With your spatula. Spatula? Spatula. Right, okay. Yes. So Nigella has her microwave. Mm -hmm. I have my spatula. I think okay. We all have our same thing. So first thing is just break up the mascarpone. Okay. Okay. So Whack beat it, it off, if you will. Okay. <laughs> just so it's 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 broken and loose. Okay. A, a loose cheesy white substance. Exactly. I thought you'd be used to that, <laughs> especially because you're making it on your own. 
So do you cook often, Mist? Um, I I do. I do like to cook. I like to, I like to have friends round and, and cook nice big meals. Marvellous. You think we've got friends? I do have friends. That's lovely. Who like free meals, which is why they go around. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't get to cook for people often. I just do I not. Oh, that's a shame. Because I, I do believe that entertaining is what what is one of the life's little pleasures. The scrawny don't leave any and drinking all your lambrini. <laughs> So yes, have you beaten have you beaten your cheese off? I, I have beaten my cheese off. Lovely. It's it's a, a, a crumblier texture than it was before. Okay, that's, that's lovely news. Now what we want to do is we want to sweeten this a little. Okay. okay. So I've given you some some powdered sugar. Okay, I believe it's sugar. Okay. <laughs> best way of telling whether it's sugar or not is to just just have a little sniff. So I just rub it on my gums. That's sugar. Yeah. yeah. Um, so pop pop your sugar in. The whole lot. Um, about half. Okay. Well, I, 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 I'm doing quite well on my waistline. Are you really? Yes. Oh, how sweet. You think you've lost, lost weight? I have. I've lost 11 pounds. You've lost 11 pounds. Well done, you. Well done. Give you a round of applause. Well, well you know, I'm, I'm a television personality now. Are you really? Yes, I, I, I need to present a certain look. You, you do present a certain look. <laughs> I have heard many people tell me that Mist presents a certain look. <laughs> Um, so, how, how are you getting? So now you, your cheese should be a little bit creamier and stuff. It is a lot creamier. Isn't that clever? Because you've yes. added a powder to something, you'd expect it to get dry. Oh, I've, 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 I've dropped things all. I'm making a mess. You've creamed cheese all over the floor. <laughs> Don't worry, I know exactly how to get that out of the carpet. Mm -hmm, I'm sure you do. You'll probably eat it. Because <laughs> it is cheese after all. Um, so, once you've done that... Um, you've been talking to Mike, haven't you? I have you? been talking to Mike. Do you know why? Because we're the same f***ing <laughs> person. They <laughs> ate my Mike cheese. So, um, now, now that it's... Bit, so now you've got to add the rest of your sugar. Because oh, the rest of the sugar goes in now? Just add the rest of the sugar now, because what? you know what? You deserve diabetes. Um, <laughs> You only live once unless you believe in reincarnation, so why Ooh, not? Uh, well, this is even messier now. Oh yes, it is. But what you'll find is that your, your cheese gets a little bit softer again. It, it does! You, you, it, it's clever, that, isn't it? It is! It's almost it, like I know what I'm talking about, it, it, isn't it? Well, it's the first time for everything. Exactly, this is the first time you've met me, remember? You patronise a little <laughs> shit. Seriously, come on here. Gasping for a fag, and I've got that shit. The last thing you need to do is because that's very sweet. Well, let me let me just test. Oh, it is. Okay. Now, what we like? So, salted caramel. <laughs> we all know has a great little little kick to it because of the salt. It adds to. Yes. Yes. We're now going to use a natural, all natural ingredient. Okay, perfectly organic, to create a little bit of extra texture and salt in there. Okay. If you look into your cupboard, you've got a little Tupperware tub. Ooh. Okay, it's been extra ingredients. An extra ingredient. Just keeping, just keeping relaxed and in, in, in well, out of direct French, sunlight. No. Okay. Um, ooh. Yeah. Oh, what's this? So here we have what is in every ingredient in this this um, <coughs> little book, uh, which is cinnamon. This is cinnamon. No, not cinnamon. Cinnamon. Man juice. Boy what? batter. So we're going to add just a little bit. About a tea, two teaspoonfuls of the of the semen to to the recipe, and you just mix that in together, and it creates a little bit of a looser batter for you. Okay. I, I usually like to know the source of, of my. Now, ingredients. how much did you just pop in? Because I said about tea, two, two teaspoonfuls, and I gave you four tablespoons in that. Oops. You could have a very cummy mixture. And then, well, did you it give won't it be the first time. Did you I've give it a taste before you popped it in? I did taste it before I popped it in. I don't think I'm going to be tasting it after. Mmm, memories. Oh dear. My mum walked in on me having a wank once, and she was so shocked, she walked, She just said to me, don't tell your father, and walked straight out. One minute later, my father walks in, has exactly the same expression, that says exactly the same thing, and walks straight out as well. Well, it says, don't tell your father. Well, yes. Well, that's how you found out you were adopted. Um, <laughs> so, um, once you've once you've mixed up your boy batter, you want to add that to your pancakes. I've got it all over my hands. So yours is a lot whiter than mine. I added the correct amount of semen. So, <sighs> well, I didn't know it was supposed to be just a flavouring rather than a good source of protein. Okay, and then just what you do is you spread it out in the middle like this, so it's a little line. Oh, okay. 
Okay. A little line. A little line. Those, like those look like a very big spear. <coughs> okay. It, yours looks like a rather distinct smear, um, which, if you were listening to Mike earlier, um, is maybe not the way to wipe. Oh, no. Um, so, yes. And then, so you just roll that up into a nice little little tube. Mm-hmm. Okay. And to pop that out of the way. Oh, it's all seeping roll through the, the holes. Little, little tube. It will seep through the holes if you're not careful. Okay, so you have to be gentle with it, and that's why I was very careful with the smearing. Have you been heavy-handed? No, I, I've been gentler than you. Okay. Um, and then you just give it a little nibble. Oh, okay. A little mm. nibble. Delicious. You went... You, Delicious. You went straight down on that. Mm. That that was full-throated. And you got aroused, didn't you? It looks like you're advertising for something. Have you... Do you um, it, uh, Have you as well as, it yet? As, as well as being a culinary artiste and, and, and creating such beautiful concoctions, do you also maybe su supplement your income using an OnlyFans account? No. I do sometimes get railed by a certain gentleman in a supermarket car park on a Thursday evening, but that's, that's a hobby more than anything. Hmm. Well, what, 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 what an interesting treat. Mm. Yeah, have you tried I, it? I, I might save that for later. Have you tried Just... You need to try it. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I, as I said, I'm watching my weight. Um, no, I'm so going I'll, up. I'll, I'll save that for later as a treat. Well, someone can tell him to eat his food. I do not come here for this bullshit from some wannabe. Oh. Oh well, in for a penny. Mm -hmm. Oh god, it's all it's, it's all fuck. It's got limp at the end. <laughs> we just tear that bit off. Went near Miss Smouth and suddenly it went limp. What does that tell you, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> it is really seeping out the sides. Uh-huh. Enjoy. Bon appétit. Mm. And does that taste delicious? Oh, that's the thing again. Mm. It does taste quite nice. Yes. So, so um, I know that someone may have whispered in your ear from the garage cornflower. There's a reason why Mike's not here trying it. Just saying. And if you want something delicious, remember, everybody loves Fanny. Everybody loves Fanny. So what did you think of the food? It was surprisingly nice. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I snuck off um, while we were filming that because I don't like Fanny. Um, we've had a long history. We had arguments. Really? Really arguments. Is it similar personalities and they clash? Shagged her husband. What? Shagged her husband. You shagged her husband? Mm -hmm. She's been bitter ever since. No, she just wasn't happy that I did not invite her in. <laughs> <laughs> she waited to peg him. She could have watched. Yeah, she could have, but she didn't. Uh, never mind. Um, but yeah, <laughs> well, that's almost the end of the show for now. Remember to look out for At The Could TV on your social media. And if you want to catch up with previous episodes, you can always binge us on YouTube. Just look for Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. I think I might have, I think I might have